Okay, Jake Schwartz here at the Fieldhouse here in Wilmington, Delaware. And a big win tonight for the Windy City Bulls. Their five-game losing skid comes to an end. Joined now by head coach Damian Connor, the pride of Australia. He is definitely a land down under. Coach, congratulations. Uh, definitely much needed win. I understand that uh, this team really struggled over the past month going uh, two and eight. Tell us about uh, how big this win was uh, for your team here tonight. Uh, the wins are important. and. Uh, but what's been really good about us in this last period of, I didn't know it was two and eight, so thanks very much for that. I apologize but, for that. <laughs> but what, we, we've, we've had a, a heavy theme of development, and, and I, I really respect the guys who've come in, done extra work, and, and when, tonight I saw a result of a lot of their work. You, you saw guys uh, like Trey McCallum making shots consistently, yes. Thomas Wilder making plays, oh, making yes. shots consistently, you know, Simi Shit too. Um, I, I, you know, Justin, Simon, a lot of guys were, were doing things that we've been working on, and we saw a positive result for that. I love watching Simi play. I've had the, I have actually been a high school reporter for almost 15 years, and Simi played at Vermont Academy, uh, one of the very famed prep schools out in, in the New England area, and that's really where he got his name, and then that, you know, went over to Vanderbilt, and then, of course, playing uh, for you. But, uh, you know, there's been a lot of other greats that came through uh, you, and that includes Paul Bull. How, how happy are you to have him uh, whenever he comes in? Like, I, I always get a kick out of when I see players um, move on, go to uh, better situations. And we've had that a little bit, you know, especially with PJ Dozier. That's been cool. You know, Adam McCoke is with the mother club right now. So we love that. Big game tonight for Jerron Blossom. Game 26 points on 11 and 19. Good play, eh? What a what a how, how what big a, was his performance tonight? Uh, it was you know what was good. It was his leadership. He, like he he had a double double at half time, but it was his stabilizing maturity down the stretch when they made a run at us in the huddles. He did a good job providing leadership, calming guys down, and he hit that big three that was probably the death dart. I, I mean, they really got it going in that fourth quarter. Um, Big night for Xavier Munford, Jared Browards 21 as well, uh, 25 again for Xavier, but uh, you know, they're missing Mario Shayok, they're missing you know, Zaire Smith, they're missing Norvell Pell, they're missing probably some of their heavy hitters. So you were really able to take advantage of yeah. that. And you shot the ball, again, you, you shoot the ball 47%. That's gotta be certainly something that, have you been looking for that kind of spark the last few weeks? Yeah, like it, our big concern from a, from a team perspective is how we've been playing in the third quarter. We did a good job tonight, we won that. But going back to your point about the shooting, it's a result of the work that they've done. The guys, yeah. you, know, you put the work in, you develop confidence, and you back yourself, and you end up making plays. I mentioned that uh, you're from a land down under. You, you grew up in the Australia area. What has been the best part about coming here to the States and coaching here at the NBA G League? Oh, what a good question. Like, I've, <laughs> I've had, it's my third year. And every stop's been wonderful. Like I've had such a positive coaching experience of being in this league and loved it. Like it, it's the players have been great to work with at, at the three stops I've been at and at the, at the different roles. And uh, you know it's good to be a basketball coach in this country. You get treated very, very well by Americans. I love it. Have there been one specific person? that you were able to say this was the guy that should have been playing in the in America or in the States in the first place, like a Ben Simmons or a, um, you know, or a De Luke Dellen Vadova or, you know. Uh, God, what, that's... And then Brett Brown, of course, coming yeah, from yeah, the like, NBL. Yeah, um, there's a lot of good things there. There's uh, a lot of good things yeah, about yeah, Australians yeah, that transition I was involved here. with our junior national program. I was very lucky to be associated with you know, the names that you've dropped, um, Paddy Mills, Daly, yeah. Dante. I even did a tour with Brett, one tour to Brett when he was the head coach last time. So, What was that like? That was cool. Brett's great to work with and a um, real positive person to be around. And, you know, it's you know he does a good job. Like, yeah. yeah and um, I know I'm just... very happy he's, out, he's back coaching Australia. I think they're going to do a great job. Oh. And they're going to... That's really that's... looking forward to Tokyo. He's, oh, he's wait. coached. I didn't know that. Yeah, I have. I have. This is breaking news here. Uh, it's Boys exciting. I, I think yes. it's going to be really positive. I think he did a great job in his last stint, and he's he's going to do a good job this time. Well, you did a great job here this evening. We congratulate you. 
And thank you for being here on the Voice of Reason. Jake Swartz again with Windy City Bulls coach Damian Connor. Coach, congratulations. Thanks, Jack.